Okay, welcome to the Build Blog for what's going to be uh, the new uh, workshop for the channel. So this is a room which is supposed to be a dining room. It has been used as a bedroom. It's uh, very worn out and uh, we're going to be making some uh, really basic cheapo minor renovations to it just to make it useful for the purposes I need it for, which is just going to be a general light duty electronics workshop and uh, uh, man cave, I guess. Uh, so uh, the, the biggest issues with this room are the floor. I've got a new floor we're going to be installing on top of this. Uh, that's some underlying foam there and uh, the walls and the electrics. So uh, we, we're going to be starting with the electrics, I'm going to be getting rid of these horrible uh, old lights. I have uh, no faith in any of the uh, in-wall electrics in this house. They're built using uh, some very old wire uh, and uh, the insulation is actually fraying off inside the wall. So I want to decommission as much of the original electrics as possible. So we're going to be uh, having an external circuit installed just going in channels on the wall. The electric mains box is over there so it's not a big deal to just pull new wiring in here and install all new lighting circuits and power outlets. Uh, power outlets we definitely need because we have a grand total of three. One double outlet there and one outlet over there. Neither is grounded so that's just not okay at all. I'm not even sure if this was okay when they installed it because uh, you're not allowed to have ungrounded outlets all too close to radiators since uh, you can actually get a shock if you have an old light with wiring fault and you grab the light and you grab the uh, radiator you're gonna die. So that's not good. We're gonna be fixing that right up. Uh, we're also gonna be painting the walls. I have bought a shit ton of really cheap white paint this stuff here. I've got 20 litres. I'm hoping it, that's going to be enough to just get everything painted up. Uh, it's not going to be pretty. I'm not going to be doing any repairs to the walls at all. I'm just going to like rip shit like this off uh, and paint over it uh, because uh, to do the renovation of this uh, part of the house properly we actually would need to replace all this cardboard on the walls and I just don't have the time nor money to do that right now but and uh, given uh, the current situation around here uh, waiting to do this properly is just not feasible I want to be able to use this uh, space for a couple of years until we can fix it up properly uh, so we ideally we should be doing the ceiling as well uh, because this is actually a kind of cardboard they just stretch across uh, but uh, that's basically uh, out of bounds. It's too expensive, too much work to do anything about that. Can't even get rid of those glowing the dark stars because they actually destroy uh, the uh, ceiling when you rip them off. I've tried that in another room. So those are going to be a permanent installation. In the workshop, we're going to have stars in the ceiling. Uh, but uh, really, the, the first step is going to be to paint the walls and... Uh, to do that, uh, the, the first step in that is going to be getting rid of the lights because uh, I'm obviously not going to keep these, they're not going to be painted around, uh, so we need to uh, get rid of them. Uh, sad part about that is uh, they are wired in permanently. Uh, there's just a block there, terminal block, and a wire coming out of a hole in the wall, so we're going to end up with some live. Uh, terminal box on the wall which is not very good but uh, I'm gonna just put like a small electrical box to cover those up uh, after I've painted the wall so that they're not a hazard and we'll have to see if I can manage to disconnect the wiring for this uh, without destroying everything because uh, the way this uh, middle floor is wired up we basically have everything on one fuse except for the kitchen which has been redone sometime in the past uh, but like the lights in here, the lights on the toilet, the lights in the hallway, everything's just one single fuse for everything. So I can't just go and cut the wiring off of that in the electrical box without redoing 
the entire middle floor, which is going to happen sooner or later. But for the time being, uh, we're just going to cover these up, ignore them, uh, just so that uh, we can get this ball rolling, because else it's never going to happen. So yeah, we're going to be getting rid of the lights, and uh, oh yeah, then we're going to be getting rid of these uh, lining bits. I'm not sure the proper term of these is, but uh, we need to get rid of these, because the new floor is just going to go on top of the old floor, and it's going to be a roughly eight millimeters higher, and these are flush with the old floor, so yeah, I'm going to recycle these, uh, even though they're a bit worn, uh, I'll just rip them off, clean them, uh, repaint them, and then reinstall them on top of the floor. I uh, might not even repaint them actually, because they're generally in good shape. Uh, modern ones give you the advantage that you can run wires in them, these don't, so we're going to have to run separate wiring channels, but that's fine. Uh, I've got a bunch of wiring channels. These things was, we're just going to screw onto the walls and uh, run our wiring through. So yeah, uh, let's just get this ball rolling, see where we end up. Okay, so woody things down along the floor have been taken care of and we've given the radiators a festive makeover to make sure they don't get any unnecessary paint splashes because I have some plans for those. And we're pretty much ready to start uh, painting. So getting the uh, runners, I'm not sure, still not sure what you call them, off was a bit of a bother. I just managed to break one and just a small portion of it. So uh, they, these can perfectly well be recycled. Now they're made out of real wood since they're old, so they're pretty good quality compared to uh, what you'd get if you were to buy a new one, so I just have to pull the nails out of them, repaint them, clean them up, clean them up and then put them back on once we have a new floor and these are already cut to the perfect lengths, so it's going to save me a bunch of work even since I have to repaint them. So I've obviously not entered this room yet, my plan is to do this room at first and just see how well it works to paint over. Uh, the wallpaper, if, if, if the paint doesn't want to stick or something goes horribly wrong, uh, I'm going to have to tear all the wallpaper down anyway or something like that. So we're doing a bit of a test run. And uh, the old lights have been removed and you can see the full horror of how they're wired up. You have two randomly coloured wires coming out of a wall with nothing. Just nothing. These aren't even... Uh, double insulated wires, they're just uh, these two conductors running uh, inside uh, an electrical tube in the wall. Uh, this house is done in such a way that there's either an electrical tube or there's just uh, two conductors uh, running uh, in, in like a metal case to wire with nothing. So this is actually the better kind of wiring. It's, uh, I think these are rubber insulated, they don't seem to be the worst kind. Uh, the uh, main electrical box is full of wiring that's just uh, completely disintegrating. Uh, you, you, you can't touch it, it's full of little bits of insulation in the bottom there. Uh, but yeah, these are going to get uh, dis uh, unused in a way. Discontinued. But yeah, now I just have shit and a painting to do. Going to do a horrible job, but maybe we'll have something more tasteful than that at the end and less smelly. Okay, so here's the first bit of painting done and that's all I'm gonna do for the night. So, uh, I don't wanna do too much at once because I'm not sure how well these walls are gonna take to getting painted with water-based paint uh, because this is wallpaper and what's essentially cardboard and uh, I've noticed it's kind of wanting to is suck up all the water and uh, basically turn into wet paper. It's been deforming and behaving badly while well, I've been painting it. I was prepared for that. Uh, you might be able to see the wavy pattern we're getting there in the middle. And uh, uh, what, what I've done thus far, I've done one layer there and two layers in quick progression there. Uh, so uh, depending on what uh, works, I might uh, uh, do either technique. Uh, that technique there is uh, a much quicker way of doing it since I can do two 
coats of paint basically back to back. Uh, whereas uh, if that wants to melt and destroy the, the surface, uh, I'm going to have to do it properly and uh, do one coat, then a second coat, about a day later when all the water has gotten evaporated out of the wall again. So that's as far as we're going to be getting today. And it's time to get some food. You know what? I just tore down this piece of ceiling in upstairs because it was fallen down anyway. And uh, this woodwork underneath, while a bit coarse, doesn't look all that bad. And uh, I'm thinking that looks so okay, but I almost prefer that over stuff like this because that's uh, how this old ceiling uh, turns out when it gets old uh, not the staining in particular but the cracking and uh, this stuff uh, will start to come down at some point it's just not going to stick around very long you can see quite clearly here where I've painted uh, that it's starting to crack already and this is not going to get better and it can't be easily repaired the best thing you can do is just try and tape it up and uh, yeah that's not a valid solution so yeah fuck this ceiling I'm gonna tear it down and uh, just paint it all white just uh, because that's basically what it is already it's just going to be uh, wood textured instead I had a bit of a rip there just to see what it's going to look like and yeah it's just the same wood stuff as we had upstairs so it's going to turn out quite all right yo no hi ah oh, yeah i'm happy tearing this stuff down because it just smells old and horrible Have a nice wood texture underneath, yeah. This is not bad. Like that, that's my main issue. This stuff smells 50 years old, and you can't clean it and you can't paint it because it's cardboard. It melts, it turns into rags hanging from the ceiling, and it's just absolutely worthless. And since we have this here. I might not even paint this, this looks nice on its own. Bit of a rustic look. Let's just finish tearing this. Yeah. This down. Okay, and there is our ceiling. Uh, so I've been spending the entire day today uh, doing this ceiling, which was uh, entirely unplanned. Uh, so uh, since all of it was, uh, like you can have a closer look at the stuff here, uh, it's just thin cardboard, all of it. And uh, it's held together with stripes of nails about a hundred stretching across the room with some gluey stuff on it and the, the entire ceiling is held up by three strips of glue and a bunch of nails holding cardboard with just glue that's where this stuff likes to come down to easy because it's not suspended uh, except in a couple of rows along the length of the ceiling and uh, in the ends there. So I've had to, using a knife, just rip eight nails all the way across, standing on a chair with my hands raised above my head. Four hours on end today, but we finally got it all down. Just uh, another room to go then. Uh, and uh, to make matters even better, uh, they've used more of the cardboard papery type stuff on the uh, runners there. I think that's the right word, runner. Uh, and this isn't painted, 
it's paper glued onto the wood and they've done a varying quality job gluing that in place so since it's just kind of coming off on its own in some places I've had to you know, go around with a knife and just uh, basically scratching off as much as I can uh, while leaving the stuff that's not going to come off easy uh, because to get it all off you basically have to get a grinder or drill with some kind of grinding thing on there and just vaporize it turn it into dust and uh, I'm not doing that <laughs> uh, but the stuff that's still on there it's on there quite good I vacuumed it and I vacuumed the entire ceiling so we're basically ready to paint this now uh, wood quality wise it's not that bad uh, it's a coarse cut it's not really uh, fine wood it's not glossy or nice but uh, it's a uh, decent it's even it uh, looks pretty okay at a distance and uh, once we get some paint on this I think it's going to be really homely uh, I also found you can see the slots here they've actually prepared the room for a main light in the ceiling uh, just like they've done in this room but uh, they never did that and they still settled for the weird uh, side lights instead I remember there used to be a light there way back and they've removed it I don't know I, I, I noticed this ceiling has been redone once before because some other poor sod has been ripping just as many nails out as I have so they probably replaced this like in the 70s or something like that and I would wager this odd piece here has something to do with uh, the water damage that's uh, occurred here at some point they probably had to cut out some boards been a leaky radiator or something up there I'm not sure uh, but yeah I need to get myself a a broomstick to shove my paint roller on and tomorrow we're gonna paint the ceiling I guess tonight I'm just completely destroyed good thing I don't have carpal tunnel